Welcome to the latest installment of a series that we like to call That Leslie Sound. In this series, we're going to attempt to cover every Leslie pedal on the used in the new market. If you want to know more about what pedals are in the series, click on the card above to watch the series opener. And if you want to know what that Leslie sound is, click on the card that will take you to a YouTube playlist that you'll hear many famous songs that use that Leslie sound. Welcome to the series. <laughs> Today, that Leslie sound is being made by the Boss RT20, and the beard is going to show you what it sounds like. All right, so that was the Boss RT20 Rotary Ensemble. Brought to you in glorious stereo. Yes, brought to you in stereo. So if you didn't have your headphones in, it's worth putting them in. Um, you know, Boss. Love them, hate them. We love them. Yeah. And this, my first experience with a rotary pedal was this pedal. Mm. Uh, the first time I ever plugged into one was this, I, and I was young. I was like, it was right when it came out. I don't know what year it came out, but I, I was young. Uh, I want to say probably early 20s anyway. And The, the 1920s? Yeah. <laughs> and I plugged into it and I was like, eh, nah. I, you know, I don't, I don't know. I didn't know what, I, what it was, and I, I guess I didn't really understand the whole rotary thing, whatever. Uh, but I did like the swirling lights on it. Who doesn't? Right. Uh, but, you know, we've had now, well, we have now at this point played every rotary pedal we have because we went through and we recorded the little intro thing. We wanted to do them all in stereo. We figured, well, let's just pick kind of like we do with the Leslie Riff. So this is the first video that's really being introduced, although we use the same riff in the Terraform pedal mm -hmm. video. Uh, but just did the same riff over and over to switch the pedals out, found a sound, played the riff. Um... This stands up. It does. It stands up. It stands up at a good, good price point. Um, there's a reason Boss is so popular. So now that that's out of the way. <laughs> right? That's out of the way. Because uh, I've seen a lot of hate for this pedal. Right. But I've seen a lot of love for it. Having 20-some Leslie pedals in a room and playing through, I think it was 15 of them in stereo. I think that stands, stands up. So... Did he mention the swirling lights? I love the lights. Yes. There's blue ones mixed in with like the pinkish ones. Right, and let's turn it let's turn on fast. I've been hypnotized. <laughs> so the RT20 has four different versions of Leslie's in it. So the first button, the first knob, selects between the four different ones. So what we thought we would do is I'm gonna read the information on each one. Pat's going to play the little Leslie riff just for a second so you can hear that one. We're just going to get that kind of out of the way right off the get-go. So mode number one is a combination of standard Leslie 122 sound, which I think is our sound. We like the 122 mm -hmm. sound. Um, and natural overdrive. This mode, uh, this is the mode with the broadest range of uses. And we're going with that fast? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, oh, yeah. it's interesting. What's interesting here? <laughs> it's a mono now. Yeah. Still sounds good. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you what. Two amps in the room in stereo. 
There's a it's a big difference. And this is going through the uh, Fender Hot Rod Deluxe, and this is a Supro Hampton. All right, mode two com- combination of the Leslie 122 again. With on mic setting and natural overdrive, this produces a sound with an emphasized sense of tremolo. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> you said tremolo. Ooh. Oh, I need you to switch, switch it. it. Yeah. If not, it'll sound a lot like the first one. He's so picky. <laughs> <laughs> Mode number three, this mode combines the sound of the Leslie 122 with the distortion of a Marshall 1959. This is a whole new sound, unavailable with any regular system which a partic- with a particularly intense distortion. Now, we will say we don't have the drive up high on the pedal. We don't have the drive on at all right now, so I'm not sure if that really affects that. But I'm about to find out. I'm about to find out. <laughs> And then finally, in mode four, this sound combines the Univibe. Well, they don't say Univibe; they say Univ. <laughs> we said Univibe, Boston. Modeled on the Univibe effect, which is which recalls the late sixties and seventies. Together with the Marshall nineteen fifty nine, the intensity of the Univ effect is adjusted with a balance knob. So we'll switch that down to four. Oops, slow down. <laughs> Yeah. So we're gonna turn it back to one, which is according to the manual the most usable. We're gonna we're gonna kinda land there for now. So a couple things we thought we'd do is just show you some of the other settings quick. And then play the Leslie riff. And the Leslie riff will play with the balance a little bit and stuff. And maybe the fast and slow. Um, the first two knobs. So you have the modes. The second knob is the rise. See, I don't have to lean over. I got this in my hand. Is the rise time. So if we turn this all the way to the left. And you just strum a big chord and let it go. Your chord basically died out mm-hmm. almost before it got to the slowest speed. Um, if so, we turn it... Yeah, go ahead. In the interest of consistency, <coughs> in other episodes, more commonly called ramp. Is that true? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this would be the ramp. But it's called rise on this pedal, but more ramp would be more akin to... Ramp. Yeah. And so if we go all the way up... I just so wanted to show that I studied for the test. We'll go back up. Mm. <laughs> So all the way up is almost yeah. immediate, but that middle's a nice place. Yeah. And I'm then gonna, you could mm-hmm. tweak it to where you want it. Mm-hmm. So below those two lobs, so on the left-hand side, we have a direct and we have an, uh, an effect. effect and a direct. Yeah. So effect, if you turn it all the way to the left, basically turns the pedal off. It's almost like a volume, like mm-hmm. a, a level knob, mm-hmm. I would say. Because right. it doesn't sound like it makes the effect more noticeable. It's not like you have a dry signal and you hear it coming in. Right. I think it's more like a level knob. Mm-hmm. And then the direct, what that does is actually adds your clean single on top. So if you're all the way to the left like it is right now, we're just hearing, and according to the manual, the way it would be, you're just hearing the Leslie sound. If you want to add your dry single into that, your guitar single into that, um, you take that to your right. And so we can do, and it's pretty subtle, I think. I thought it was. 
So if we have maybe Pat just play the Leslie Rift or, or whatever you want to play for a second, we'll let him play for a second the way it is, and then I'll turn that to 12, and then I'll turn that to all the way to the right. stopped you because we still had it on slow but I think you heard it better yeah. on slow than you do on the fast mode. Yeah I felt from like zero to the middle I felt a decent amount of difference but from the middle to the far right I don't know that I felt yeah. that much but it definitely gets a little fuller I think when it brings in the, the depending on how you have the guitar EQ I'm using pickup uh, selection four in this one. But. So then if we jump over to the right hand side of the pedal we have the balance overdrive slow and fast and so we're on the slow, so let's do this. I'll take it all the way to the left. We'll do the three kind of chord thing again. See what the slowest is, medium, and the fastest, slow. All right. <laughs> That's a pretty fast slow. I just yeah. The nice thing about it is you can see the lights too. So if there's something you don't feel you can hear, you can have the visual as well. And all the way left, it almost stopped. Yeah, it was like a break. All right. Uh. <laughs> I was looking at the whole, the spinny thing, and I felt like Dr. Evil. I was about to go through time and space. I think the hole actually opened up. <laughs> and interestingly, there is a, there's a notch at, at noon. Okay. And I think that we've been landing on this one on noon. Like, the, they're, they're good settings. Like, mm -hmm. somebody thought out, like, this is probably a good speed for fast. This is a good speed for slow. I did wonder if we... Turn the ramp all the way up. Hit it once, and I'm going to go between the fastest slow and the slowest fast, just to see how close they are together. Okay. So that's cool. They're saying. Mm -hmm. So the fast picks up where the slow leaves off. Which is not the case in a lot of the pedals. Right. <clears throat> All right. So then the drive. Should we just sample that a little bit? Uh, we'll have Pat play something. We'll start with the drive all the way off. And we will get the whole way up. And if it looks like we're in pain why this is happening, <laughs> the drive knob adds a lot of volume. Just for clarity's sake, I'm going back to the bridge to, to not, so it's not so grungy fuzzy. And I'm rolling the tone back a little bit so it don't kill us. We still might die. One of us might fall off the stool, but we'll right. find out. <laughs> <laughs>
I could right. watch that light all day. Let's turn that on. <laughs> it's actually... Sorry, Mrs. Beard. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the Leslie pedals we've looked at, the drive hasn't been something that we've been really... Right. That's actually not... You can find somewhere between off and... <laughs> oh, if, my Lord. <laughs> <laughs> right. That, but with that slow yeah, swirl, yeah. it sounds good. Yeah. All right, so... What have we done? We've done the fast and slow. We've done the drive. We've done the four different things. The only thing we haven't really touched is the balance, right? So I think we go back to the just kind of the normal Leslie riff. And I'll do the balance. We'll okay. go. So to the right, you're going to hear more trouble. We're going to go to the horns. And all the way to the right is just the horns, basically. And all the way to the left is just the, the bass rotor. All right. Yeah, it went from AM radio to... <laughs> and there's a notch at noon on this one, too, yeah. so you get that kind of right in the middle. Mm -hmm. and I always like it just maybe... A little towards the lower side? I like it a little towards the, the higher side. Yin and yang there. Yeah. Well, on the Leslie pedals, because okay. it gives that... It brings the horn out just a little bit more to get that 122 sound. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for the Leslie 122, which has the spinning horns and the bass rotor... When you lean towards the horns a little bit, I feel like it, it brings that out a little bit. Uh, do we? Do you want to just do that riff like one or two times through? We'll go one time on fast, one time on slow, just to hear the difference when it ramps down. We've got the ramp at like kind of the normal setting now too. Got almost everything. Well, the speeds and the <coughs> ramp straight up, right? Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> So at this point, I think we covered it all, right? I mean, we obviously could spend more time and we go through all the different sounds on all four of the different settings yeah, and stuff right. like that. But the whole point of this is just to kind of give you an idea of what's out there, what it could do, um, what your options are if you're looking for that Leslie sound. And, you know, I think this is a great option if you're looking for that Leslie sound. Mm -hmm. um, so the one thing that we haven't done, we've played it in stereo. We've gone fast and slow we've gone through the four modes whatever we haven't talked about an expression pedal and so this you can hook an expression pedal up to and we've done just that so down here at my foot and i'm not trying to hook up another camera for that <laughs> if i go up to the toe position we go up to the fast speed go back to the heel position we go down to the slow speed so we thought we'd play out yep i'm gonna play some chords pat can do whatever he does over that and um, play with the expression pedal on the way out. So we have a lot more pedals in that Leslie Sound series to come. We have other things happening. We have the interview series. We just got done. Uh, tonight as we're recording this, we just talked to Rick Matthews from Matthews Effects tonight. Uh, got some other people coming up for that. Yeah, we do. Uh, we've got some other cool pedals that are not Leslie pedals to do. Yeah, we do. That we're kind of excited to get into. And... Um, we got new content coming out every Wednesday and every Saturday at noon, typically. And we premiere them and we moderate them. So if you yeah. want to watch live and interact with one or both of us. Yeah, we've been trying to do that. We've been yeah. trying to be available on the premiere of all those, one of us or both of us, to, right. to chat with you and talk with you. 
uh, and check it out with you. So please join us for that. And I think with that, other than subscribing, mm -hmm. clicking like, that really helps. Helps us keep this going. I think with that. I'm PJ on behalf of The Beard reminding you no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear. <laughs>